What's going on? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, guys. And uh, I got a little news from the heavyweight division. You know, I really don't cover the heavyweight division a lot, but, you know, they do have some heavy hitters and some, you know, and some very important players, and some good fighters in the heavyweight division now, you know. Um, uh, Deontay, Deontay Wilder, you know, he has had a lot of bad luck, a lot of unfortunate um, things have happened in his career that, you know, I mean, he, of course, a normal injury, but every fighter that he has um, has been popped for some type of banned substance, you know, um, and I know he's real adamant on calling out guys that have been cheating in the sport of boxing by taking illegal substances, banned substances, steroids, you know, all types of things. You know, and this is like the third or fourth time where he has lost a fight and couldn't fight because his opponent was using something. You know, um, that's no fault of his own. However, if you're looking for an opponent, because it seems to me now that he's desperate for an opponent, you know, because he has a fight, he has a date, and he needs to fulfill that date. You know, you don't want him to be like Miguel Cotto, you know, and they have to cancel the date. So if they cancel the date, he loses money. They lose money. You know, that affects his banking account. You know what I mean? It affects his banking account. That affects his lifestyle. You know, I don't think Deontay Wilder has time for that. The bronze bomber needs to get paid, you know, but that's one thing. He's getting desperate. But if you got a guy calling you out that you have <clears throat> ridiculed in the past, which is Luis Ortiz, Ortiz, Mr. King Kong himself, called out Deontay Wilder. And, you know, and these guys got beef. Well, yeah, these guys got beef. Because Ortiz is no bitch. And you know Wilder's no bitch. And you know Wilder, like I said before, is adamant on calling people out. Uh, Ortiz was popped with a banned substance. I don't remember the substance he was banned with. That he was caught with. But um, he was caught, you know. And this, But this was four or five years ago. You know, since then. Or later, you know. But since then, you know, he hasn't been... Uh, taking or using or he, he hasn't tested positive for anything, you know, and he's been knocking people out, you know what I mean? And and Wilder, you know, of course, he called, you know, he said a lot of bad things about Ortiz. Of course, Ortiz didn't like that, you know, so now Wilder's looking for an opponent. Ortiz calls you out and it's crickets, you know what I'm saying? It's crickets. That's all you hear. Crickets in the grass. In other words, you don't hear shit. You don't hear Wilder saying, yeah, I'll fight him. He wants to fight this other guy. The dude's 37 and 0. There's no need. There's no need for a tune-up fight. If you don't want to fight the toughest guys in the division, shut the fuck up, really. Because, I mean, there's a reason you don't want to fight these guys. You don't want to fight them, and there's a reason you don't want to fight them. And I'm not going to pretend on, I don't know the reasons. You know what I mean? I'm not a fan of Deontay Wilder. He lacks a lot of fundamental uh, boxing things, you know, he's unorthodox, which makes him dangerous, but that's why I'm not a fan of him, you know what I mean, when he, because the things that he does, somebody's going to knock him the fuck out, and I really do hope it's Ortiz, because, but he has to fight him, though, you see what I'm saying, he, you know, you can't be saying things about him, you know, that's something Floyd Mayweather would do, money Mayweather, you know, he'll call out someone or say something derogatory about a fighter, but then he's not fighting him, you know, these guys are in the same division, you know, at least Floyd says something about fighters that are, you know, not in his division or whatnot, you know, and uh, like Golovkin and Ward or whatever, the things that he said about other people. However, you know, Wilder's talking about a guy, you know, and ridiculing a guy that got popped with a banned substance years ago, but won't fight him now when he's been tested negative a gang of times and knocked out a gang of guys and is undefeated just like himself, you know. And I don't see, I, I, you know, and it, it really, to me, it would seem like these guys have beef because they have they have exchanged words, you know, via social media or what have you. They have had words in the past, you know, so I see this being a heated fight and an emotional fight because it's more than just professionalism in the ring. It's more than just a fight. These guys don't like each other. You know, that's enough. To market the fight right there. That's a Danny Romero, Johnny Tapia, or uh, uh, Barrera Morales right there. Simply because those guys do not like each other, and those guys didn't either. You know? So, I don't know what Wilder seems to do. I don't know how many, you know, um, it seems to me like Uncle Al's fighters, what they do, they 
I guess they want to get their money up and there's nothing wrong with getting their money up. But it comes a point in your life that you do have to fight the opponents that you have been avoiding. You have to fight them. You know what I mean? And don't wait for him to lose a step or to get hurt or to get old. Because remember, Luis Ortiz, Mr. King Kong, he's 35. He'll be 36 soon, sometime this year. I don't know what his birth date is. I just know he was 35 last year. So he'll be 36 this year. So, you know, there's only a amount of time that he can fight at, a, at an elite level. You know what I mean? So it's better sooner than later if this fight happens. But Wilder and his camp has to take a fight. And he has to take fights like the Joshua's. You know, like the Browns. Well, Brown's been top, popped two or three times. I think the third time Brown has been uh, caught, you know, popped with a um, illegal substance. So I wouldn't really recommend him. But there's a lot of guys that Deontay Wilder should fight, and he hasn't. And he's avoiding these fights. You know what I mean? And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know, like, there's some concern why you don't want to fight Ortiz. He's calling you out. He's ready. He's available. The slot's available. You don't have an opponent. So fight Ortiz. You know, if you beat Ortiz, okay, you get all the props. If you throw one of those dumb fucking hooks and, knocks, and knock Ortiz's ass into the second row, okay, you will got it. You got it. You'll get the credit, the full credit. You know, but if you don't fight him, it only leaves speculation. It only leaves speculation that you're a paper champion, that you don't fight the best, and you're full of shit. You know, you don't put your money where your mouth is. You talk shit over... Uh, social media about a fighter that you refuse to fight and I'm going to leave it at that so you guys um, have any concerns comments questions remarks you know just drop it below but anyway this is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News and you guys have been counterpunched peace